Hello there. Welcome back. Here again with the Creality CR30 3D print mill. Got a couple of projects I'd like to explore on this machine. I was thinking about giving it a direct drive extruder, try and solve its bed adhesion problems. Now, planning to install the Micro Swiss NG Revo direct drive extruder. This kit is meant for a CR10 or under. Obviously, we got to modify it for this guy a little bit. However, I'm also going to be adjusting the angle of the extruder from 45 degrees, as you can see back here. What we're talking about is that the extruder is at 45 degrees to the bed. That's how we're normally mounted. I'm going to adjust that to 22.5 so the nozzle is pointing down farther towards the bed. However, we're not going to adjust the 3D print plane at all. It'll still be printing. The only thing we're adjusting is that nozzle angle. So I've actually designed a little bracket that should allow me to mount the NG here and mount to the uh, NG here. Mount to the CR30 there. So that does actually fit on. Get that going. Now, I really wanted to install the Revo in this machine so I could swap nozzles and have some commonality. But if I install the Revo nozzle at a 45 degree to the print surface, to any surface, you'll see that the side of the nozzle touches long before the tip. Even if we take the sock off, 45 degree angle, the tip is not even close to the bed. Now, of course, as soon as I ordered my Revo NG, E3D, the guys who designed the uh, Revo ecosystem, released a set of Revo nozzles with a longer tip designed for belt printers. However, still going with this because the 22.5 degree angle I plan to install this at will not only let the tip hit, it should improve bed adhesion. About the bed adhesion issues we were having, these are the screws that were holding the hot end on. They are noticeably bent. Not a lot, but a good five degrees. If we scoot you guys a little closer, we have the hot end itself is also bent at about five degrees. This must have crashed into the bed at quite a lot of force. I've never actually seen a heat break bend like that. So instead of actually printing at 45 degrees, I was printing more at like a 55 or even 60 degree angle. So the problems I was having are good bit worse than on a stock CR30 on a stock 3D print mill. However, we're here. I'm going to try it out. I've not seen very many of these uh, Microsys NGs. In fact, this is you know, be the first one I've seen in person. So I figured we'd do the unbox together. Instructions in case, uh, so they're actually including these little, uh, these are splice connectors. You put two wires in there, clamp that down, sort of see from here, and it connects them. I'm probably going to come back for the electricals to do it in a, what I consider a more robust fashion. Well, these are the worst thing in the world, just... I think long term, you know? So the nice part about that it's kit for the CR30 is that we have a stepper motor extension cable. Oh. Or for the CR10. So I should be able to extend that from the extruder. Hopefully that's long enough for the CR30. We'll explore that, but it's nice to have in there. Uh, parts for... Oh wow, so that's for the... Uh, V wheels. We're not gonna, we're not gonna need that. Hmm. 
nice that it comes fully assembled with the Revo uh, heat rig, even the .4 nozzle pre-installed. So that's another nice thing about this guy. If I were to ram this into the bed as hard as I could, we would probably get a break right at the heat break here. And while these nozzles aren't exactly cheap, much easier to replace than this whole shebanger. And also hopefully easier to notice. A lot of nice machining. So this bracket is designed, this back, for uh, the CR-10. I'm not going to use that. This is for, you know, your belt stretching or your belt uh, mounting. We're going to replace this bracket with a printed version and see if our... Uh, See if our mounts line up. Thanks especially to uh, Microsys for putting their models up so I can actually model this even though I've never seen this part in real life. Another thing we're going to have to modify is... Well, we might get away with this fan shroud even. But it is a single fan shroud whereas the CR30 comes with two fans so we might just replace that. But let's see. Oh, let's hold on. Yeah, so... This mount should be the fan shroud lugs on either end. And then we have three holes for the uh, NG, and then the other holes are for the uh, CR30 side. It's a very very nice print. You can see even I was looking at support material on others and yeah, it came out very nice. Especially like when you can see through to the gears. It's the NG itself. If you are. NG is trademarked. It's two letters. Anyway. That is really, really nice looking. I just like the compactness of it. Sort of the moment of truth I've been wondering is, will the holes actually line up correctly? Let me get the swarm material off. Oh, tree supports, right? It's so good. Yeah, these three holes should line up. And those two, it's very easy to see that they do. And it's hard to see that the third one does, but it looks good to me. Give you a better view of this mount. 45 degree angle in the back, 22.5 degree spacer plate. Let's just come down to the bed and print on it. Ah, beautiful. Just the joy of a CAD model for something you haven't seen before actually fitting on it the first time. I can remember which way up is. So one thing with this, it's a very quick design. You do have to put in the uh, CR30 screws first. Or it won't actually... Yep. These screws are covered up. Ah, all these have nut traps in the back. So it's going to be a real pain to get the nuts in for this one, but the rest of them should be pretty easy. Use a screw to get the nut trap stuck in... the nut stuck in its trap, I should say. And the rest of these should be pretty straightforward. That is just a thing of beauty. Big things I was worried about are clearance. Make sure we have a full range of motion.
clearance looks great. Let's take a look down at our actual bed layer. Wow, that looks pretty good. With the included wiring for the extruder, the uh, extension cable, should be fairly quick to get it running. If I was willing to... So MicroSwiss wants you to cut off these connectors and use the splices on them with the existing wires. I'd rather upgrade the wires, which is going to be a bit tedious, do that off camera, but I will get this going and get a test print up and running fairly shortly. I do want to see, let's take a look at the fan shroud, see if we can actually get that on there without modifying the angle of it. <laughs> it's basically perfect. Should I get a larger side fan and use their beautiful fan shroud, or should I design one that uses... So for this is, just for the reference, the CR30 has these two very thin pancake fans versus this one's a larger, oh, is it the same? Yeah, it might be just a single, it looks like it's just a single one of these fans, but we'll explore that and get it going. Hey, thanks for watching. We're going to polish this guy hopefully with a uh, one week lead time. And, uh, Happy printing till then.